So the formula A over sine A equals B over sine B is a well-known formula in IGCSE and IB, but why does it work? Right, today I'm going to go through exactly why this works and use Sokotoa to essentially show you very, very straightforwardly why this actual formula works. Okay, so I've set up a random triangle here and I've just made one condition before I get started on proving why this actually works. And notice I've taken one of the random points, so B in this case, and I've dropped a perpendicular. Yes, I've dropped it down. So this actually hits N here at a right angle. And I'm going to kind of exploit that in order to actually show that A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. So let's get started. I'm going to call this H. So that's going to be very important to have like a reference letter for some of the calculations I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sokotoa to work out the sine of each of these angles. So remember, Sokotoa, so that tells us uh, how the opposite side, adjacent side, and the hypotenuse are linked. So let's work out sine A first of all. Hmm. So remember, sine A is equal to opposite, so in this case it's going to be H, divided by hypotenuse, which is going to be equal to C. I can do a very similar approach from the other direction. So I'm going to look at my angle C here and say, well, sine C is equal to the opposite, opposite this angle, that's equal to H here, divided by the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is going to be A. And what we can do at this point is we can, for the top equation here, times both sides by C. So whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. This has the effect of cancelling the C's here. So that leaves me with H on the right-hand side, and then sine A times C, well, we can just call that C sine A. And I'm going to do a very similar approach for the bottom equation. So I'm going to times by A on both sides. Boom. So what happens here is that this cancels here. We get H on the right-hand side. And then A times sine C is equal to A sine C. And what we notice here, if I put the highlighter on, is that this and this are both equal to the same value. They're both equal to H. So what we can say then from that point is that these two things highlighted are also equal. So therefore, and it's better if I use the pen function instead, <laughs> therefore C side A is equal to A sine C. And at this point, I can rearrange this to make it look like this. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to divide by sine A on both sides. So if I divide by sine A on both sides, this cancels. We're left with C equals A sine C over sine A. And we're almost there now, but we can also do a similar thing with sine C. So I'm going to divide... Let's pop that over here. I'm going to divide by sine C on both sides of the equation, and that leads to my answer of C sine C is equal to A sine A. And what this leads to then is that formula that we know and love, which is A over sine A equals B over sine B, which is C over sine C. And if you're interested in how the sine function works and operates, then check out the video right in front of you because I go through my fantastic sine wave animation.